So the first play of a game, and you're up in the box watching, you guys call it play action that's designed to be a big play. Yeah. And you watch a running back disappear before the play action goes through and then drop a ball. What goes through your mind watching that exactly? You know, I, I think it, you, you, I'd probably move on um, just as a – you move on as a coach by faster than players do, you know. Uh, just because you, you understand that there's an ebbs and flows of the game. You don't, you don't like to see that, but um, I think more than anything, you just start thinking about, number one, you start thinking about the next play, you know, and then uh, I think from there, there's not much thought that goes into it that fast, you know, but as you get through it, it's just one of those things where our guys, you get a teaching moment there to, to have the guys understand a, a P and 10 situation at the start of a game and, and to then man, manage the, the psyche of them as we come off and, and, and go to that next play, next series, you know. When the slow starts, though, had been, something that you guys were addressing before yeah. and then that's something that happens right out of the gate and then yeah. the sack fumble later, not yeah. that much later. Surely in film review or whatnot, you had to be going, these are missed opportunities that you're, when you were trying to address something, yeah. these are missed opportunities. Yeah, I think that, that just, that's part of, that's our job. That Those are teaching moments. And I think going back and we address those things, um, we make sure that those, our guys understand when we talk about starting fast, that, that how can we avoid them? What can we do different? How can we prepare them better to be ready for the, for certain things right off the bat and uh, and get them locked into those things happen because you can prepare all you want and tell them all you want and then when it happens they got to react you know and so we try to make sure that those moments and those teaching videos and those things are available you know and uh, that's a perfect example you know and I think that getting off to a, a good start is important for anybody I think all the teams want to do that you know and uh, when we've done that we've done a nice job you know and so getting through that I think is part of the psyche that we're working through. Freshman you've had that, uh, been able to coach? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, Travis is an example of, of, of you know, you go your career coaching and you'll have a few true freshmen that, that right away are mature enough to handle that pressure. And uh, I think him having um, grow up, you know, with, with Troy a little bit and, and just his, you know, his, his upbringing and stuff, they've done a really nice job. And, um, you know, he's done a really nice job. I mean, it's tough. It's tough managing that early on in your career, especially right out the gate. You know, you're going to have your bumps. And, uh, but I think his maturity has just showed, you know, we, we probably, he probably wouldn't be in the position he's in if he was not ready for that mentally, you know. With injuries at running back this Saturday, plan on leaning on him a little bit more? Yeah, again, it's guys going to step up at all positions with some, with some injuries. I think we've done that all season and uh, it'll be no different this game. You know, if someone's banged up, we got to go next guy up and they did a nice job today, rotating around and uh, we got, we have to uh, prepare and those guys have to prepare to, to, to do their job. Marcus, you guys have talked about wanting to establish an identity as kind of a run first team. And you look at the, the first down plays, especially early on against Utah, there wasn't a lot there. What, what's sort of the, the balance between wanting to establish something and sticking with it and also having to change it up if, it, if it's not there? Uh, I think that's really that's that's the course of uh, the course of a game. You know, I think establishing the run philosophically is something that we believe we need to do, you know, and uh, I think we've we've shown that over games over the course of the season that we'd stick with it. and. And, and that's part of it. Um, if the game calls for us changing up philosophically over the course of it, you know, I think that that's part of it. Uh, you manage that, you know, but I don't think you can't run away from it and you got to work through it. And, uh, you know, you can't you can't just put something out out to bay and, and say, you know, you're done with it. You just got to kind of lean on it and continue to do it. And I think the second half, we kind of continued to run the ball, ran the ball a little bit better, you know, helped the time Jake come back in the second half um, at center with us. And, and I think that was a, a really good deal. Um, but I think that you know, anytime we're trying to establish what we're, anytime we're trying to establish the run, it's going to take some time to get through it. You know, and, we, and I think it's just part of it. I think it's going to help establish what you want to do um, psychologically. You know, and, and and what we believe in. Looking at yards per rush, uh -huh. um, it's down somewhere 4.1, 4.2. Is there a number that you shoot for on that? And is is it just a matter of, of trying to break more big ones or being more consistent with it to get that number up? Yeah, I think that there, there's obviously goals you try to do with certain things like that. You know, everyone's probably got their different numbers. I mean, ours more more realistic is going to be trying to be efficient in the run game, you know. And I think that, you know, us battling through the transition up front and transition in the backfield and in comparative to what we've had in the past and what we've done, I mean, there's a lot. Of, we lost a pretty good guy last year that carried the ball a lot and a pretty good left tackle. Um, and then we've got some moving pieces and some young guys and uh, establishing that run is going to be something we're going to do. But I think uh, um, as far as yards per carry and stuff like that, that's something we definitely think about and talk about. But, um, you know, no, no exact number that, that probably is going to be no, you know, no magic number. cornerstone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously you want to be efficient in it, you know, and I think uh, we continue to try to press that gas a little bit.
I mean, is it tough? You mentioned, you know, comparison to what happened in the past, and Oregon's got this, you know, long tradition of, of offense. And is yeah. it tough to kind of have that in, in the rearview mirror and know that kind of that, that bar has been set here? Uh, you know, I think that's the good part about it. I think that is the really good part. But I think our guys understand that's what that we've done. I mean, that's the same thing if you look back and, um, you know, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you've been in the past, you, you, you want to be able to do that. But you can't, you can't hang your hat on the fact that you think you're going to be someone else. You've got to be who you are right now, and, and right now we're, we're, we're working through the process of understanding what we're trying to get done, and uh, we want to be as explosive as we can. I mean, last week's, last week's game, ironically, was one of our most explosive games per play rate. It was 18% of our plays were explosive, and that's a goal we look at analytically, and we're looking at some of the big plays and, and things we're doing and how we can find more of those, and uh, I think that uh, you know, it started to show there in the second half and some of the runs and staying with it, and the backs had a nice job, and they did a nice job up front, and... Uh, we need to go ahead and continue that. And those are the pictures we're trying to show our guys to be able to continue moving forward. How different is this in Arizona State team since Herm Edwards uh, took over things? You know, they've done an awesome job. They're really they're, they're doing a really nice job. You know, one of the hottest teams in our conference right now. Um, I think they got good energy, good juice, good coaches, good players. Um, I'm sure I don't, you know, I, I don't know Herm personally, but I obviously know he knows a ton of football. And he's got, he's got these guys playing at a high level. So it's going to be a great challenge for us, and we're excited about it. Can you sense the seniors really want to in their uh, their home careers uh, this week uh, with a with a victory on senior day. Yeah, I mean, I, I I'm, I'll be hard pressed to believe that those guys as seniors don't want to go out and have an awesome night, and, uh, and and that's something that's really important. I remember on my senior night, I remember having you know to have seniors in front of me in their senior night. And I think it's a really important night. Um, so putting our best foot forward is important for them. I think that's that's pivotal.